Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out the Scum and Villainy Conversion Kit for Star Wars X-Wing 2.0. Here's a quick look at what's in the box. Feel free to pause the video here so you can read this in greater detail. Although if you're crafty, you may be able to find this online in PDF form. It might be easier for you anyway. That way you're not straining your eyes. But as you can see, there's a lot of components in here. There's some other asides about how to put the maneuver dials together. Speaking of which, there's a lot of those. S expect to spend a good half an hour putting these together. There is a certain trick that I have developed to put them together nice and easily. That's something I really contended with in the 1.0 version, but um, in 2.0 my trick is um, take this piece here, fit it into this larger wheel, and then put this one on top of it and then just push down onto a table as hard as you can. That way this bottom piece pushes through both of them and then just put this last piece on top right in. It, it, it works every time for the most part and it saves me a lot of, uh, well, pain in my wrist, especially since I've got like arthritis. But anyway, there's also a bunch of cards. I'm not going to read them off to you. What you could do is you could go and download the Squadron Builder app or you can go to the Fantasy Flight official website and play around with builds there, and you'll be able to see the different cards that are available. But, I'll show them to you anyway, in case you're curious. I'm not going to read them off, though. My hiatal hernia is acting up, and I'm kind of breathless right now. Speaking of which, folks, medical bills, if you feel like supporting me on Patreon and subscribing to me on Twitch and the like, feel free to. <laughs> Shameless plug. But yeah, I, I love the art in this game. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, as you can see, the art is different than 1.0, so um, for those of you buying into this game, it's going to be a pleasant surprise for you. At least I think so. All right. Again, there's a lot more to go through, but that's just a sampling. There are some cards um, that came extra with this. This bag contains additional components for the Fire Spray Class Patrol Clap and the Fang Fighter. These components are not reflected in the component list found in the conversion kit. So, these are like extras that came with it. Same thing with the Rebel Alliance and Galactic Empire. Little baggies came with some extra stuff. Uh, I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to put them all together at some point. Speaking of which, um, I will have a separate video out there for like the changes between 1.0 and 2.0 and also storage solutions. Because I've got two of these... Well, I've got three of these Plano cases. Uh, one for the Empire, one for the Rebels, and well... In 1.0, it was Rebels and Imperials. Now it's Rebels, Imperials, First Order, Resistance, and Scum. So you've got like five factions instead of three. So in the one Plano, I've got Rebels and, well, just Rebels. And then the other one, I've got Imperials. And the third one, I've got uh, Scum and whatever. But now with five of them, I'm going to try and split them up a little bit better. We'll see how that goes, and that's going to be a future video. Anyway, yeah, this is what you get. My biggest complaint like the Galactic Empire and Rebel Alliance, there's no shield tokens. I, I just, I don't understand that. <laughs> I really don't. How can you include focus tokens and stress tokens and jam tokens and not include shield tokens? Uh, or bomblet tokens. That's another, it just, it just, I don't know if it was an oversight or what, but it just, it doesn't make any sense for you to include all those tokens uh, and not include any of the other ones. Another common complaint, again, from my previous videos, is that some of these named pilots, um, like here's Koshka Frost, and here, well, it's double-sided for whatever reason. Um, let's see, there might be another one here that I could use. Captain Nim. Okay, so let's say, I'm looking for two named pilots. I, G, G, B, and, okay, so those are the same. Bad examples. Let's move on to these larger ones. Sabrine Wren. Uh, Asajj Ventress and Ketsu Onyo. So if you wanted to fly these two together, you couldn't do it because these, these are the only times they're mentioned and they're on opposite sides of the base. Typical with the upgrade kits that I've seen so far. So while the game, this upgrade kit does upgrade your components, it's going to limit you in certain ways in the sense that, okay, you want to fly with this particular squad, you may not be able to because both pilots were on opposite sides of a base and you can't do it. So it's like the upgrade kits are almost forcing you here to buy into the 2.0 ship separately, which is kind of a money grab, which kind of stinks, but at the same time, you know, I mean, it's not that big of a deal if you fly casually and go, oh, you know what, 
I don't care. It's fine. I'll just pick a different pilot or a different upgrade card. Or like there, there's only so many upgrade shield upgrades in here. So you know, oh, I'll just do two shield upgrades on this and a hall upgrade on that one. No big deal. But if you're running tournaments and stuff and you need those cards, then you know you're, you're going to be SOL a little bit unless you buy more, uh, unless you buy more ships separately and get the cards separately and, and build up your count that way. But other than that, the Scum and Villainy Conversion Kit does what it says it does, um, you know, minus a few negatives like I just said. The bases, the tokens, um, everything else, good quality. Uh, my only concern though, uh, like the Empire and the Rebel Alliance, these boxes are pretty flimsy. So do not expect to store, this is like really thin paper. Don't even bother storing stuff in here. Okay, don't, just don't do it. Uh, maybe some empty baggies if you want to make this like a baggie holder or something, but that's that's the gist of it. Um, again, storage solutions are coming. I prefer the plano cases, but I'll get into that later. All right, so that was Scum and Villainy Conversion Kits. Stay tuned for more videos. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.